you see a any reason why Alan was disappointed after this tour of Scandinavia? I think that's the last thing you did with Nathan Well, as I said, said to you before, I think, you know, I just think as things hadn't progressed further on, you know, like, the music had probably got as good as it, as it was going to get, you know, in the couple of years that, that you know, was, you know, been, had one long tour and then went to America and then came back and did some gigs here and then went over to Scandinavia. And that's, that's quite a lot. I think Alan was probably feeling that's enough, you know, I've done that now. I'm not quite as enjoying it as much as I was, you know, for the obvious reasons. You know, music's frustrating business, isn't it? It's very difficult to do to make music really good and satisfying. And I dare say he thought to himself, and it, you know, I don't think he felt that great, you know, he was a quite ill Alan, you know, he, I think he always had, you know, the propensity to be very ill Alan, you know, he had a uh, rotten guts, you know, colitis, and, which is basically sort of a, you know, a colon that doesn't work, you know, it's sort of, you know, guts are in a terrible state, and I dare say that that's probably what gave him the leukemia, you know, he was a sort of classic case for someone to be ill Alan, you know, and be on the road and, you know, not, you know, not eating properly and all the rest of it, drinking too much and all the rest of it, all those things, you know, it all takes its toll on you, you know, I dare say he thought, well, you know, because he, I mean, he's, didn't have long to live after that, did he? So he probably felt ill, I should think, and thought, bugger me, I'm not going to do that again, you know. What's that home, perhaps from piano? Like any sensible person, then he. So yeah, I think I think you know he really that first tour we did all around you know Scandinavia and Spain and France and all that was a really good tour you know everybody we all really thoroughly enjoyed it you know it was excellent fun you know we made a little bit of money you know a little very modest amount and I'm sure Alan really enjoyed that and at least I was I did anyway it was really good fun it was nice the fact that it was just for. You know, there was no leadership there, it was just sort of, as I say, you know, we just went out and did the gigs and in a way that sort of made it made it more enjoyable, there was nothing at stake really, you know, you didn't really think of it, you know, so I just thought of it as just uh, yet another nice pleasant sort of occupation to be doing, you know. What are your memories of the American tour? Are they good memories or...? Yes, it was a... Uh, organisation was a bit... bit yeah. chaotic, yeah, yeah but it uh, didn't really, I don't I think, you know, it was a bit disorganised with gear, you know, because you never know quite what gear you're going to get, you know, and, you know, you have to sort of go with the flow on that, but we survived it okay. I mean, I thought we did some good gigs, you know, a couple of really, really excellent ones, you know. Yeah, it was good fun, and I think all the music was pretty well received, you know. Um, did you feel you had a certain following over there? Or? Yeah, we had some yeah. good good audiences, yes. And there were some uh, full houses, yeah, some big big crowds come and see us, you know, especially on the first gig in Boston. And that was a you know, big theatre full of people, you know. Mm -hmm. Big gig to do, yeah.